Welcome YouTubers Collectors, this is Anubis009 and today we got to present you the premiere series of Transformers The Last Nine Optimus Prime and this is the Voyager size. Now today I'm in another location and over here I am in my good friend Joe Hello fellow collectors and YouTubers. He is the one we started making the first video of his customized uh, transformer. But today we got to check it out this guy. And as you see the package is really really nice. And over here in the top we have the premier edition right there. You can see it. The artwork is really, really cool. And you can see Optimus Prime over here. It's a nice artwork of him. Uh, over here they say Optimus Prime, Hasbro. This side of the box, they say Transformers. The other side, they say Transformer again. And the other side, they have a really, really nice artwork of Optimus Prime with his awesome sword. Really, really cool. An audible symbol over here. In the bottom of the package, we got to see a generation symbol with the audible logo. There you go. And in the back, we can see his in his rubber mode and vehicle mode. And over here we have the Voyager class Greenlock. They're showing over here. Now we got to open this guy and see how cool he look. And this is him out of the package. And let me tell you something. I really, really like him. And he still look the same mold of this. 2014 Western Star semi cab and <clears throat> it's not too much different only in the transformation part he got to look different but he's still to be a boy of her size he's still really really nice let me zoom it in uh, the most I like it is his windows are black and that making look him really really nice now the paint job is more like a silver it's not have that a uh, chrome finish but it's still kind of cool over here you still see the autobot symbol in the front right here the only problem this time is not painted red like the other one The flames, really, really cool. Still have the same motif. They have an audible symbol over here in the top of the cab. The oil tanks, I just painted silver. But it still look nice. And the bottom, but you see the robot parts of him. In the back, the uh, small stacks are not painted. That's the only difference. And over here, where the trailer is supposed to be connected, it's not painted either. And the back, where the tail lights are, are not painted either. And the rims of the tires, they don't have paint. But he is a really, really cool guy. Now, this one is going to steal the same way to put his weapons. And before we're doing that, let me show it. This is the leader shield with the barrel guns in the front. This time they painted like an aqua blue. Still nice paint, no paint in the back. 
but it's pain over here in the, in the front. For the sword, this time they had the the one they call it like Excalibur sword. If you remember in the other uh, Voyager Prime in the uh, Age of Extinction, the sword is eh, not like it too much. This one is more accurate, movie accurate. Now it needs some paint job. The handle is still the regular plastic color and the sword have like an inigon uh, orange but this one is very easy to fix now you do the same thing like uh, the other boy here they have places to storage if you see this peg hole over here you put the sword right there just peg it like out uh, in your Age of Extinction uh, Voyager size, Optimus Prime, and the sword is being stored in this compartment in the bottom of the cab. That means you just put this sword over here, just slide it in, and they hold it for the storage. See, really, really cool. And for comparison, I had the little class Ace of Extinction Optimus Prime. Well, it's a little bit more bigger than this one because it's a Voyager, but the mold still the same. It's not a big difference. You see, it's the same semi cab model still the same now this one has been customized a little bit to make the windows make it uh, black and some customized uh, paint jobs in the rims but still the same the audible symbol over there is just this time is red this one is more silver but still the same and for other comparison this is the evasion mold from transformer age of extinction optimus prime that way you have a good comparison of a scale now this one is more a customized uh, optimus prime my friend joe do that's mean I really like what he do with it but yeah this size is quite a good nice size see there you go and for other comparison this is the ROTF hunt for the Decepticons battle blade Optimus Prime and yeah the scale is quite good have this same length see very cool this one uh the one from uh the last night is a little bit taller because the cab but the scale is quite accurate i really like it the way they look this is the other side really really nice the scale there you go okay now transform the now we got to transform this guy in robot mode now this one will be slightly different than the other one from age of extinction First, you need to unpeg the top of the cab. See this section, they connect right there. And they come with double hinge and just put it in the back for the moment. Like this. There you go. 
Now, you need to take these side panels, just on tab. You see this tab over here go right there in this tab and just put it in the side like this and tap the other side and you can flip it in there you go there we go and just leave it like this now you need to separate the front slightly like that take the arms and unpeg it from the front you see this tab got to connect in this inside tab right there the same thing with the other side just move it and tab it now just move the hands a little bit now go to the back separate the hinge over here and now this connection and this peg go in this hole over here and this one right over here inside now we're going to the bottom and you can just move this area just make a quick turn around just leave it like that the other one take it move around and just leave it like this there you go now this whole section just move it way to the back the whole area and this peg see this little peg over here go in this area section over here this means just move it peg it do the same thing with the other side just move the whole section of the front to detail <laughs> that's okay take all this section move it around and do the same thing peg this to this peg over here there you go right there now we got to form the legs put the legs the front grill, you need to move it. You see the front, see this peg go in this peg. Just move it for the moment. Do the same thing on tab the front grill. Just untab it, turn it around. Just leave it like that for the moment. Now you need to unpack the foot area just move it like that you see this little peg over here go in this peg right there just put it in this position and turn the whole thing around like this And you see the peg you peg in the other side, they need to go inside there. That's mean when you move it, just put it up a little bit and set it off. And you hear a click noise. That's mean this foot is ready. Now take the front of the cab, just move it in this position move 
over like that. Now you can unfold the feet. Now this peg go in this section here. Just, just peg it, push it. And there we go. This is one of the foot connections. I have a problem with this connect over here. Sometimes that happens when you make a video. There we go. And you have one of the legs already. Now do the same thing with the other side. Peg, move. Turn around. There you go. Peg it like that. Turn this. We'll hit this whole section. Move this one in. The same thing. Take this peg. Put it right here. And there we go. Now we need to fix the upper level of him. Let me move the camera up. But now he looks kind of like messy. Accommodate the legs right here. Now you need to move the waist. In that way, could be like at the front and the back right there there we go that's the legs let me put it in over here now the head let me put some clearance over here the leg it, the head is right here what you need to do with your fingers you need to try to move it up like that and you have the head for the chest what you do is you just need to turn the chest like this because before you have it in the other position as we know you just move it like that and plug it in that's all for the arms just put it in position put the other arm in position move these two panels in the back area yep. this panel in the back Move the whole back section. Now this peg for the arm go in this peg inside here. In that way they stay there. Do the same thing the other side. This peg go in this peg inside there. move the hands this panel is in double hinge this means you accommodate this way and they have this little peg inside and go over here in the arm you position the arm like that do the same thing to the other side move the, the arm this peg go inside with the same motion peg it move the arm back in that way you see the fist over here okay now we got to move the shoulder pair parts that means you just move it a little bit up 
and just turn around and just put it over here the other one just move it up turn around let me see sorry for that there we go and there we go and this is Optimus Prime in his rubber mode now the paint job is awesome and he really look like movie accurate <coughs> sorry for my voice movie accurate Optimus Prime this time what they're doing is the transformation will make it a little bit different yes he have a little bit of backpack before this part separate and turn in the shoulders and the doors turn in these slaps over here in the side in the waist but this time I really really like this mold it look very movie accurate <clears throat> and if you see in the face area the eyes are painted blue let me go upper and get it closer really really nice face uh, this time he have a small uh, mouth plate over here normally the whole thing is blue the eyes have a nice nice blue color the shoulder very cool the chest really really nice have a lot of silver area really really more details you see these panelings the biceps the arms really really cool really really nice I really like it over here yeah the crutch <laughs> <coughs> really really nice details <clears throat> really really cool the legs painted nice nice paint and the foot area need need paint but it's more movie accurate uh, I like the way over here in the bicep area you no know, the abdominal look really really kind nice details red blue around the shoulder pads really cool I like that now his head is moved left and right limited because the shoulder pads but they're okay go up not too much up because the transformation uh, panels over here limited go down not too bad have a uh, movement of the hands there you go the arms go up and down he can could be do it all the way if you move it a little bit farther uh, it move his side and the shoulder pad move in the way you can have this movement have a bicep swivel that's cool have a bicep swivel uh, the elbow move going up going down uh, he don't have a, a wrist movement or no fingers movement the waist have rotation weight there you go the legs can move side 
as mean he can do like a kick side movement he can move up he can move back in soft ratchet uh, moving in the knee not completely because part of these panels over here the mold don't let him but he can move it and no movement in the toe because that's part of the connection that's mean no movement right here okay to put the sword they have this connection right there and what you do you just slide the sword and he pass through <clears throat> and for the shield you just you see this little peg go in that peg and just move the bicep a little bit <clears throat> and just peg the shield and there we go <clears throat> that's the way he look really really cool now to connect this sword to the hand just take the sword in the back and just slide it in the arm and he is ready for battle and for comparison this is from Transformer Ace of Extinction Armor Knight Leader Class 8031 Optimus Prime and you see he's quite big that's mean that's a good comparison really really nice mold boat and for all the comparison this is from Transformer The Last Night The Lost Class Berserker I think they both look really really good because he looks more short more short than the Voyager class Optimus Prime and for other comparison <coughs> this is from Transformers uh, Age of Extinction Deluxe class uh, Bumblebee really really nice size really good and for other comparison this is from Ace of Extinction Voyager class Evasion mode Optimus Prime and yeah they are the same height Optimus Prime the A Ace of Extinction is a little bit more taller than this one and you see you can put in some dynamic pose like over here kind of like a, taking the sword and say the power of Grayskull <laughs> that's something funny but the only nitpicking I have of him is some areas are not chrome or at least they are not silver paint and the tabs in the shoulders uh, they tab but they are no very solid sometimes I have problems when I move his his arm the whole area separate but the mold is awesome I cannot wait to this guy be in leader size if you want him I go to leave you the link below for Big Back Toys you can go and check it out and buy it because he's really cool and if you want to see more Transformer, Star Wars and other sci-fi toy collection I have just please click the subscribe button and click the little bell in that way you have a new videos please put a like if you like this video and please leave a comment in that way I can 
opinions or if you like this video and that way I can make improvement and give me ideas how I can make this one better for you guys and like I always I say enjoy your hobby and play with your toys collection this is Anubis 009 saying goodbye to the next time